This is the Brunsviga 11E. On the front it has the uh, Brunsviga name on the handle and there on the case it says Brunsviga Maschinenwerke Braunschweig or Brunswick in English. And up here it has the nice uh, Brains of Steel logo. It's uh, electrically driven, so it uh, has a power cord. But the main mechanism is exactly the same as in the Brunsviga Model 10. I have a video about the Brunsviga 10 on my channel as well. The input is done with these uh, uh, input pins and you can then add that to the main register by pressing the plus button and if you do that the input is automatically cleared and subtraction is is pretty much the same you can by the way you can see the input here in these these small windows so now I'm subtracting 52 and there you go the result is 71 in this case um, to clear the main register or the counter you use these buttons the main register is uh, is denoted register 3 so that's cleared with a 3 button and the counter is denoted 2 and the input So, and the input is uh, register 1, so that's cleared with this button. Moving the carriage, that's still done manually. You have to uh, pull it out. Oh, it was still locked here on the... Uh, there's, a, there's a small uh, switch here, or latch, that uh, locks the, the, uh, the carriage for transport. So you have to move this up to free it. So you have to pull the carriage out uh, if you want to do, say, multiplication or uh, division. Note that in the counter there's a small red uh, underline that shows you the current digit. Uh, when I move the carriage to the left, that uh, underline moves to the right. You can move the carriage to the left because it's on a spring using this button here, the left arrow button. And that uh, marker goes to the right. But uh, yeah, I can, for example, uh, do, uh, do a multiplication. Uh, Say, I'll put it in the third position so I can multiply it by the three digit number. So I'll multiply 3 to 1 by 1 to 3. So, uh, yeah, for, I now change this switch to multiply. It's over there. That ensures that the input is not cleared when you press the plus or minus buttons. So if we want to multiply this by 123, I do it once in the hundreds digit, move it to the left, move the register, the carriage to the left, that marker goes to the right, to the tens digit, now I have to enter three, uh, 2, I just pressed it slightly longer, and then move it to the last digit, there we go, so this is 321 times 123 is 39,483. It also has a divide. And yeah, let me show you how that works. I'll do the classic division of 355. And I'll clear the counter. So 355 divided by 113. Now I put this switch to division. 
if I press the minus button, it will do the it will calculate the first digit of that division. So it subtracts this number as often as possible and uh, until it uh, until it underflows and then it undoes that underflow and it also automatically shifts the carriage to the left. So it calculates the first digit of the answer of the quotient. And just for subsequent digits I just keep pressing the minus button for however many digits I want to calculate. There we go. So the answer is 3.14159, which is correct. The remainder of the division is 33 here. Yeah, and that's all there is to it. It's not a very complicated machine, but it's quite useful and relatively cheap and very compact for an electric calculator. This was the Brunsviga 11E. Thank you for watching.